Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to make this Pokeball. You can see here. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to print off all these parts. You're going to want to make sure you remove all the support material and sand them down, especially the lid. It's really helpful if you sand down this, this surface here. Make sure that it fits properly. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take the button and the ring, and then you're going to take the spring, which you can find in a mechanical pencil or ballpoint pen, and you want to put this ring, the spring in the back of the button and keep it compressed. And then you're going to want to take the whole assembly, um, make sure you have the latch side facing up, and then take the top of the loop, the inner loop, make sure you have the top with the little hole here, and you're going to want to slide the button into the loop and make sure that the spring is trapped behind the back here. And then you're going to want to take the, the other half of the loop and you're going to want to put some glue along, some super glue along the rim here and then press the two together. And then you're going to want to make sure that the button actually presses so Make sure that seems to work pretty well. And then you have, that's the middle part done. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to take the bottom half of the Pokeball. You can see these little uh, grooves here, which match up with these knobs on the bottom. And you're, just gonna, you're gonna want to glue, put some super glue along here, and press this on top, and hold that for like 10, 15 seconds. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the lid. Now, when the lid prints, it prints with some support material inside the hinge here, and you don't want that, so what you can do is you can either drill it out, or what I did was I took a, a hex key that I knew fit into the hole, I heated it up with a lighter for a while, got it nice and hot, and then I just pressed it through and kind of melted all the support material out of it. So that way it works pretty well. Once you've done that, I'm going to take the lid, the hinge matches up, slide on top, it clicks shut, and then you're going to want to take a piece of uh, PLA filament, the same kind you used to print the model, and slide it through the hinge back here, and then you're going to want to take some pliers or snap it off right there, and there's the Pokeball. You just press the button and the lid releases, nice hinge motion. And you put it on the stand, and there you go.